Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael. I'm with madbagger.com and today we are going to be diving deep into the Loungefly March 2022 catalog. You're going to want to hang out and check this out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive into the amazing Lounge Flight March 2022 catalog. Let's see what we got going on. First bag, we have a DC Batman bag. Now, I'm super excited about this because we haven't been seeing a lot of superhero stuff for the past few months. So actually getting a superhero bag this month, really, really cool. And of course, for the new Batman movie, I'm excited to see this. Um... I know Christian Bale did an amazing job as Batman, but I'm super excited to see the kind of like this dark noir kind of take on it. So this bag here is going to have, uh, it's a cosplay. It does look like it has a enamel zipper pull, which is cool. I like the, the enamel badge that they used on the front of this bag instead of it being lounge fly. And then the brand, it's just gonna be the Batman with the Batman logo. I like that a lot. Let's go and check out the back. The back of this bag, uh, pretty cool. It's I Am sh The Shadows, and it's got the Batman logo. Let's go on to the next bag here. Okay, they also gave us a new Tigger. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I've seen a couple cosplay Tiggers, and I might have actually even seen one with him stand on his head like this. But let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong. I thought Box Lunch might have done one that was somewhat similar to this, but this is super cute. And I love Tigger. He's one of my favorite Winnie the Pooh characters besides Gopher. Yeah, I know. I got a weird thing. I like Gopher. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a little bit of sass to him. But Tigger standing on his head. Super cute. This one is going to be another cosplay. Uh, for this one, it looks like they decided to do some plush little feet. As you can see my mouse there, the plush little feet coming off the bottom there. It looks like the tail is going to be coming off the top of the bag. Really cute. Love this. The back side has Tigger's stripes. Looks like it's gonna have the padded straps in black. Anything from the core catalog, of course, is gonna have the nice high quality finishes. Now, if you wanna see the linings on these, they are uh, available to see on our website, uh, madbagger.com. Right now, I'm just showing the fronts and the backs of the bag so you can kind of see what is new. Okay, we also got another Winnie the Pooh. This one is super cute. It's a gingham style Winnie the Pooh cosplay bag. You got little Pooh's hands coming across there, holding the little front pocket. It looks like they did little uh, applique bees on the front, which are really cute. It looks like they might be on those little grommets. Uh, of course, it has the Disney Lounge Fly enamel badge, which is going to be on the front there in yellow. It looks like around his mouth and his lips are going to be embroidered. This is going to be uh, the handle on this one's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be one of the handles where it's held on with the metal instead of this being kind of tucked in on the back side of the bag. It does have the front pockets. It looks like side pockets on this one too. Uh, this one has a cute little saying here on the back. It's got the fun little um, contrasting gingham style print. Next one. Oh, this one is so good. When I saw that they had uh, they had started releasing photos of this, I was super excited uh, because this is an amazing scene. Of course, from Jungle Book, you have Baloo and Mowgli down there in the river. Uh, it looks like they have some embroidery on the flowers on the front pocket. Looks like gold hardware. They did do the enamel badge on the front of this one, which is Disney Lounge Fly. And that's kind of up there towards the top by Ka. He's hanging out there, kind of checking out what's things going on. Um, again, this one looks like it's going to have side pockets from what I can see. And, uh, of course, the cute embroidery. Backside here, I know... Uh, for this catalog, uh, we actually have the glam images. So we have the images that are actually the real product. A lot of the times we just have the renderings. And uh, the renderings doesn't it gives us a little idea of what the bag looks like. But having the real photos is definitely really helpful. The only thing I have to say is that if you actually want to see the little graphics behind uh, the strap, is you have to check out on our website. Because I want to say each bag has like five or six different images. And I didn't want to spend like half an hour going over each and every single one. I wanted this to be a quick so you could kind of see what is new. So this one's going to have, uh, looks like blue on the back. Uh, looks to be possibly embroidered, maybe printed on there. Uh, it does have the nice soft green and blue contrasting vegan leather. This is uh, another Castle Series mini backpack. This is going to be the Castle Series for Mulan. Now, this one is pretty cool. This one does have a really cool feature. 
uh, with the fireworks. Uh, it's very, very similar to the fireworks that they did with uh, Little Mermaid back in February. Uh, it's going to have little LEDs up here in the little bursts. Now, I don't know. They might be just be solid white or they might have done colors. That's going to be something we're going to kind of figure out. Or um, if they have the images, sometimes they put out images when it's uh, nighttime or when it's dark in the room where they can actually show what the LED features look like. This one has, of course... The uh, looks like the Emperor's Castle or Mulan's um, castle there. And you're going to have um, Mushu and Cricky down here on the front. They're going to be down there. It looks like in a garden with some Japanese blossoms. I love that. That's a little applique across the front. So I would imagine this one is going to have a front pocket. It's just going to be set a little bit lower than what we're used to compared to some of the other bags. It does have side pockets. And the enamel badge on this one's also going to be on the front. Backside, okay, so again, if you want to see the images, definitely visit our website, but you are going to have a nice photo of Mulan and, uh, wow, what's his name? Shang Li, is that his name? I'll have to look it up, but um, you have uh, Mulan on the back there. Looks like a nice little garden scene. Again, with the Castle series, we've been getting crossbodies, we've been getting wallets, and we've been getting backpacks, and pretty much for the backpacks, they've been styling them out completely. So they haven't uh, been leaving any plain backs or any solid colors on the back. It's pretty much been stylized uh, from the lining all the way to the front and all the way to the back of the bag, which I like. Okay, next one. Oh, this one is super cute. Okay, so this one right here is going to be Lilo and Stitch. This one's called Space Adventure Mini Backpack. Uh, this one I don't believe has glow-in-the-dark features. I'll have to find out on that. But um, it does have a really cute little scene there with Stitch. And they did a Funko Pop like this last year. It was a nice six-inch one where Stitch was in the rocket ship. It's super cute. It's one of those coin-operated uh, rocket ships that you see at the grocery store. And, of course, you got Lilo there in the back. Looks like she's also an applique. And I love this because they actually have Lilo on there. So we, I know everyone's like, oh, we get another Stitch bag. But this one is cool because it does have both the characters, Lilo and Stitch. And uh, Stitch, we just I just love Stitch so much, just his attitude. Uh, so I think he's uh, perfect on this bag. It's, it's pretty hilarious. Okay, so you do have the enamel badge on the front, which is the Disney Lounge Fly. Looks like tucked in behind the rocket ship, you're going to have a pocket. Side pockets on this one as well. Backside is going to have a little space scene behind the straps with Space Adventure. Contrasting blue colors. All right, we got a Donald Duck. Okay, <laughs> Donald Duck. Uh, love Donald. Super cool. Uh, I remember Donald watching Donald cartoons growing up. Uh, definitely one of the coolest Disney characters. He, this is going to be a cosplay for him. So it's really cute. Uh, looks like this one's going to have like a little anchor zipper pull for the front pocket. I do like that. Uh, a lot of little appliques going on here with his eyes and his beak. And, uh, of course his tie. He's got his cute little sailor outfit on, which is of course our classic iconic Donald Duck. This one does have an enamel badge uh, on the front, which is going to be the Disney Lounge Fly in white. Let's see the back side. Oh, Pooey! <laughs> oh, Pooey! <laughs> Pooey! Pooey or Pooey? I'm pretty sure it's Pooey. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. I like that they do these little details on the back. It just adds a little bit of charm. It might not be something that everyone sees when you're walking around with your bag, but you know it's there. And then when you take it off, and of course, you're like set it on a table or and uh, people can see the back of it, they're gonna notice that. This one does have contrasting uh, strap there with uh, the yellow there on the, the nylon part that connects to the bag. Again, this is from the core line, so it's gonna have the padded straps. Princess tattoos, okay, this is a cool one. I like this. Um, they did like a little scalloped edge here around the, uh, around the enamel badge and around the pocket, which I like. Uh, and it's different than just being scalloped because it has these little circle cutouts. Kind of reminds me of a doily a little bit from, uh, you know, one of those vintage little lace, um, I guess, what you used to set your cups and stuff on. Really, really cute. This one looks like it's going to be a textured bag. I can kind of see here in the characters that it's going to have that kind of crosshatch texturing on it. I do love this one because they use the original artwork of the princesses. And uh, let's see here. You have Moana. Aurora, Little Mermaid, Ariel, Mulan, Pocahontas. 
So it looks like you're going to have Snow White. It looks like you're going to get a lot of the characters on this. It does have an enamel zipper pull. It's kind of hard to see here. It looks like it has a crown off to the side there on the front pocket. Again, Loungefly this year, they've been doing a lot of their classic silhouette uh, mini backpacks, which are going to have like the nice side pockets and the nice big front pocket. Absolutely love it. This is going to be a really cool one. They just gave us uh, the pop version of this for the villains. I thought that one was really cool too. But if you're more not into the pops, I guess that this would definitely probably speak to you a little bit more because it's going to be the original artwork. Let's see the back. Okay, you do have Tiana on there. Nice. Jasmine. Belle. So it looks like you're going to get quite a bit of the princesses on this. Uh, in, uh, all the way up to probably uh, I would, Moana. I think Moana came after uh, Tiana, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, it looks like you get quite a bit of the princesses on this. Really pretty pink color. I think my wife might end up having to keep one of these. We'll see. Next one. Okay, guys. We got Toy Story. Toy Story. This one's fun. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Okay, so this one here has Bo Peep and Woody in front of the Ferris wheel at an amusement park. It's kind of a stylized version of them, but it's super cute. This one does have a, a little enamel zipper pull with Woody's boot with the spur. That's really cute. I do like that. This looks like a nice, really big front pocket. It covers up a majority of the front of the bag. Uh, your course, you're going to have Buzz Lightyear, uh, Bullseye, Jesse, Rex, Forky, Mr. Potato Head. You're going to have all the, the characters... Uh, that, of course, we love from Toy Story. A, a majority of them, a majority of the main characters is going to be right here on the front pocket, which I like. Let's see the back of this. It's a nice blue color, too, which I, is absolutely beautiful. Okay, again, behind the straps here, you're going to have some of the characters. It's like a nice little print behind the uh, behind the straps here. Uh, looks like it's going to have Woody, Buzz, all the main characters, even Bo Peep's on there. Uh, Hammy, I see. So it looks like you're going to have quite a bit of fun little characters on the back of this one. This one is going to be another one of those ones with the metal uh, clasp, I guess, uh, handle, I guess what we'll call it. Instead of having the classic where it just tucks in behind here, it's going to have the metal. So I know some of you like to hang them on the walls. So when you're doing your command hook, sometimes that can make a difference on how it hangs on the wall. Okay. So this one, they don't have live photos for yet, but this is going to be for the villain series. This is going to be Yizma. Uh, super cool. The villain series, one of my favorite series that they are uh, that they started just last year. This has Yizma coming up off the top there in cosplay form. You can see all the stitching along her hands and her, um, her uh, I don't know what you call it, her collar, I guess. I guess that's her collar. It's kind of, it's got the stitching. So it's definitely going to be an applique. You're going to have Cusco there. Oh, I like the little zipper pull on this. Super cute. It's going to be the little potion. Looks like it has a regular zipper too. Um, the, with the Villain series, they've been doing a lot of these uh, printing onto the onto the straps, the, vi the nylon part that connects the straps to the bag. I do like that they did that on the Hades bag, which I really liked. I think they should have done it on all of the Villain series, but I know. I, I, sometimes I'm asking for a little too much. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the back side. See what the back side looks like. Back side has uh, Yzma's little kitty cat on the back with the little potion, padded straps. I love this. The kitty cat's name is it Eng or is it Enigma? I'm not sure. They have it abbreviated uh, in the description, so I'm not quite sure. I've only seen this movie maybe once or twice, but I know for a lot of you guys, it's one of your favorites. So let's go ahead and skip to the next one here. This is going to be for Turning Red, which is the new Disney movie that's coming out this year. It looks super cute. I think it comes out in March, actually. So this one's going to come out. This one's launching the beginning of March here. So uh, the movie will probably be out before you get your bag. But but it probably won't be that far off. I like this because I think last year they, uh, there was, they did the Luca movie. And uh, they didn't do a bag for it, which I thought was like a miss. Uh, and same with Encanto. I, I know they did that Kanto bag later on, and I think it was like an exclusive for Box Lunch or Hot Topic. But I definitely like seeing some of the new movie characters uh, in the core catalog and around the same time that the movie launches because I think that helps build some hype. And, and, you know, we're just getting to know these characters for the first time, so we might be falling in love with them and we might want to add this uh, bag to our collection. This one has 
Looks like a nice little plushy tail coming off the bottom. Again, this one is going to be another rendering. They don't have live photos for this one yet. Messy, loud, and wild on the backside with some lightning bolts. I know my kids are counting down the days to watch this one. So we're going to be watching this one here really soon. Okay, outside of Disney, we have Harry Potter Trilogy Mini Backpack. I like this. This is pretty cool. This is uh, very reminiscent of the Star Wars bag that they did last year where they did the Star Wars original trilogy on a backpack. This one, they actually use photo images onto, and they print it onto the vegan leather. This one, I know 100% sure, is textured with that crosshatch type texturing on the leather. It's really cool. You got all the characters multiple times on the front of this bag. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. You even get little Dobby here, which is cool. Um, Hagrid, you're gonna have Dumbledore. Um, yeah, so you get a lot of really cool stuff on this. Um, I was looking at the size of this bag. I don't think it's as big as the Star Wars one last year. Uh, I'll have to go back and look at the old catalogs. I thought the old one was like 13 inches, which is getting really close to being almost being like a full size backpack. But I want to say when I saw the description on this one, this one said it was only like uh, I thought it was like 10 and a half or 10 10 inches, which would be a true mini backpack, right? Let's check out the back of this. Harry Potter enamel badge on the front. Back side, yeah, you can really see that cross hatch texturing on the leather there. Padded straps. This is something we don't talk about a lot, but they put these little crown logos, uh, which is gonna be the Funko Lounge Fly logo on the little buttons there. It looks like you are gonna have the uh, Hogwarts uh, logo on the back. It looks more than likely it's probably gonna be embossed and then filled in with, um, with like a gold ink which is really cool. Okay, Doctor Strange. Okay, we were, I was talking just at the very beginning here. Superheroes, yay! We're getting some more Marvel, some more DC characters. Of course, this is gonna be for Marvel. Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. This one is really cool. This one, they just did an announcement for this one at their uh, Funko convention, uh, which is really cool. Uh, I completely forgot that this was actually part of the core catalog. And when I saw them launch that, I was like, wait, oh man, I want that in our core catalog. And it actually is. So this is really cool. This one is a glow in the dark mini backpack. Uh, I really like the way that they did the galaxy print on the leather on this. And you'll probably see it a little bit better when I show you the backside. So for the glow in the dark features on this one, it's of course gonna be Doctor Strange with the little, the, all the yellow part here. I don't know what they actually call that, that maneuver that he does where he opens up the portals and stuff with his hands. Uh, but all these little glow-in-the-dark features are going to be the yellow around the character's hands. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip to the back side. Yeah, so you can really see that galaxy print on here. Super cool. I can't wait to see this in person. Of course, this is a live, uh, or these are real images of the bag. So, um, But a lot of times when you see these in person compared to just seeing the pictures, uh, it's a lot better. I really like, I, can, I can't wait to see what this is going to look like in person. It does have the Doctor Strange logo on the back. That's super cool. Let's go and flip to the next. This is a Nickelodeon mini backpack. This is a SpongeBob. Lots of pastel colors on this one. This one is called the SpongeBob Jumping Jelly Fishing. <laughs> I know, it's not easy to say. Jumping Jelly Fishing mini backpack. This one you got SpongeBob, Patrick, on the front, I love that. Looks like they did uh, different colors on the sides on this. This is gonna be another one of those metal strap handles up top. Instead of it tucking, it's not, a, not the classic, classic silhouette. This one might have side pockets. It's kind of hard sometimes to tell with these little stitching on the side. Let's see the back. Okay, the back side. Really, really cute. You got the contrasting um, straps, which I like, two different colors. If you're a SpongeBob fan, this is definitely pretty cool. Let's go to the next one. Blue's Clues. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay, so this is going to be for Blue's Clues. I know uh, they've already showed images of this before the launch. And uh, I think a lot of people are really excited about this bag. I didn't glow, grow up with Blue's Clues. Um, but, of course, I know what it is. It's a really popular child's uh, television show. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like Mr. Rogers, if you're a little, if you're like my generation. It's kind of like Mr. Rogers, Reading Rainbow, I guess. A little bit of a cross between that. Uh, Captain Kangaroo. All those classic uh, kind of educational TV shows. Uh, of course, this has Blue right here, and it's going to be a cosplay of him. It looks like 
I'm not sure, but I think this might have a zipper pocket. It does have like the little book with the notebook right here with the chair. We'll have to flip through here and see if we can get a better view of this. Backside here, contrasting uh, color, vegan leather, blue on blue. You got blue's little paw print there. And uh, side pockets on this. The enamel badges on the side. And let's see here, I'm gonna go back. I can't tell if there's a pocket there or not. But if you go to the website Madbagger, you can see the more of the images and it'll show some different angles. Okay, and I'm doing mostly the front and the backs on these so you can kind of get an idea of what's released. Okay, this is gonna be Valfree. Now Valfree, I'm not familiar with that much either. I know Launchfly has done some Valfree bags before. I do like this one, I think it's pretty neat. The shape of it, of course, is a heart. It has that same kind of scalloped edge or doily style edge. Uh, it does have a front pocket. The leather that they did on this looks like patent leather. So it's gonna be that really smooth, slick surface. Um, of course, you got like these kind of like pinup girls that have tattoos. Pretty neat. I don't know um, if is Valfrey a fashion or is it like a TV show? Let me know in the comments. I will look it up and I'll, I'll probably learn a little bit more about it. Okay, you're gonna have um, the back side is gonna have the same kind of patent leather straps. Looks like they did contrast stitching with pink. And of course, you have the all over print there with the 50s uh, pinup girls. Okay, NBA. All right, this is super cool. I knew they were going to do more sports stuff. Been excited. It's been really hard for me to keep my excitement down on this. Um, and I hope they continue to bring more sports stuff in. Of course, this is going to be for the Los Angeles Lakers, but they did give us quite a few teams this year for the NBA. This is the first time Loungefly has done uh, NBA bags. Uh, so this is really exciting. This is going to be a Lakers all over print. Of course, it has the Lakers colors, okay? And then it has the debossed logos all over. Nice Los Angeles Lakers patch across the top there. It's going to be badged with an NBA Lounge Fly enamel badge. Classic, classic silhouette from Lounge Fly. Nice big front pocket there and side pockets. Let's see the back. Back side's going to have that all embossed with the uh, team colors there, the purple and the gold for Lakers. So each team got two bags this year. They got their embossed all over print and then they got the basketball print. Uh, they did the same thing with the NFL where they did like an embossed print and then they did the uh, pigskin print. So this one's gonna be the Lakers uh, basketball print. I would imagine uh, the, the football one, it felt like real pigskin. So I would imagine that this is gonna feel pretty much like the same texture that you would get from a basketball. Uh, again, a classic silhouette. Back side of this is just gonna have the um, purple straps and the basketball kind of color. I thought they should have worked maybe something on the back here, maybe a logo or something down the straps like they did with the baseball. But you know, a lot of it depends on the licensee. It has to go back to the Lakers. The Lakers has to approve the design. Um, so we'll see, maybe next maybe next year they'll do, do a little bit more on the back of these. Okay, Chicago Bulls, woo! Okay, this is cool. I grew up uh, with you know Chicago Bulls in the 90s. Of course, you know, you had the dream team there with Michael Jordan. Uh, Scotty Pippen, Dennis Rodman. So this is pretty cool to see the Chicago Bulls on here. Okay, so this one is, has the Chicago Bulls colors, which would be the black and the red. It's got the same patch with the Chicago Bulls logo on there. Uh, NBA again, classic silhouette. Backside, red and black. And that uh, embossed print kind of continues. Continues onto the back. Chicago Bulls, this is going to be the basketball print. Chicago Bulls. Same patch that they do on the other bag, I believe. And then NBA, just going to have the really cool basketball texturing to it. Backside, orange and red. Looks like these have side pockets. Boston Celtics, super cool. I know we have a lot of Boston customers that buy from us, so they should love this. We got the Boston Red Sox for the MLB, so this is pretty cool to get the Boston Celtics for uh, NBA. Larry Bird, right? I think Larry Bird. I kind of date myself a little bit. I don't follow sports that much, so I couldn't tell you who's currently on the team, but I do remember from my childhood. Okay, Boston Celtics. You're going to have the basketball uh, style design here with the texturing from the basketball. You're going to have the green on there for the Celtics. Backside. New York Knicks. This one's cool. I like it. New York Knicks logo there up there on the front. NBA, lounge fly. Uh, Going to be the orange and blue. This is the embossed print. 
It's total preference. If you like the embossed, I, I feel like people more lean towards the embossed ones because you get the team colors. But these, I, the, the prints that they do on these, uh, the texture that they do on some of these, it's, it's incredible. It's pretty incredible that they can that they do. It almost feels like they took like a basketball and took the leather off and were, made the bag. It's pretty pretty awesome. That's how it felt with the NFL stuff. I was really impressed. Okay, backside. Okay, you're gonna have the Brooklyn Nets, black and white. I love their colors. <laughs> it's a classic right here. Okay, you're gonna have the Nets logo, NBA lounge fly enamel badge. Backside's gonna have the black and white. And then the Nets also got the uh, basketball prints or the basketball texture mini backpack, NBA lounge fly, Nets nice little badge. Super cool. 76ers, Philadelphia. All right, where are my Philadelphia fans at? We got the Philadelphia 76ers right here with the red, white, and blue. So that's pretty cool. It's got the nice Philadelphia logo up here up top, embossed logos all over. Backside's gonna be blue and red with the embossed print or debossed print. 76ers also got a pigskin bag. This is a big month for uh, mini backpacks. I can tell you, I wanna say there was like 27 mini backpacks in this catalog. It's absolutely uh, crazy. Some months we only get like uh, 10, some even less than that. So the fact that we have 27 this month is pretty, pretty incredible. Okay, backside of this. Okay, guys, I think that covers all of the catalog. That pretty much covers all the catalog. Now, again, this was only for the mini backpacks. I'm gonna do another video which will cover the crossbodies and the wallets. I don't want the video to get too long because editing a video that's like an hour to 30 minutes long is a lot more work. And it's really rough on my computer because my computer is, doesn't have a ton of RAM. But I will shoot another video I will shoot another video for the wallets and for the crossbodies. So look for part two. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.